What are the symptoms of tinnitus? Well, most people pronounce this tinnitus. The experience of perceiving tinnitus is individual. So for one person, they may hear a ringing sound. For another person, they may hear white noise or a buzzing sound. Sometimes the issue can be medically treated. Other times we have to manage it in certain ways so it doesn't affect our life anymore. Hi there, my name is Ben Thompson, audiologist in California and founder of Pure Tinnitus. Let's talk about the symptoms of tinnitus. Typically with tinnitus, you hear a ringing sound, a buzzing sound, a high-pitched noise, or some white noise. Let's listen to some different sound samples to give you a sense. So that's an example of what a loud tinnitus sound can be. Now, typically the pitch of tinnitus is different for every person. So each individual perceives a different experience. That's why some might say they hear a ringing, others might say they hear a whooshing sound or a white noise. The most common underlying conditions that can cause this symptom of tinnitus would be a hearing loss, either temporary or progressive and permanent, an ear injury, like blowing out your eardrum or an ear infection, or a cardiovascular condition. Sometimes people have this symptom of tinnitus and then they go to their primary doctor who recommends they get a hearing test. When they see an audiologist to get a hearing test, sometimes that result can come back as normal hearing. Now what this really means is that the hearing test was in the normal range, but obviously someone who has tinnitus and has the symptom of loud noise does not have normal hearing because their hearing is different. But let's explain this a little bit more. Even if your hearing is overall good, it can fall in the normal hearing range. But that doesn't mean it hasn't changed from previously. So maybe 10 years ago or one year ago, your hearing was better than it is now. And when there's that difference in hearing, that actually can trigger the symptom of tinnitus coming from the auditory regions of the brain. Now, that by itself isn't a big deal, but often what happens is that we hear this noise and our body doesn't know what it means. We start to think, what is going on here? Could this hurt me? Is this a signal that I have a tumor in my head? As a tinnitus doctor, I wanna share that something that's pretty common I see, especially in the online tinnitus communities, is that most people are able to cope with their tinnitus. It's in the background of their life. It's not an issue. And then they have a period of high stress, high anxiety, depression, something intense going on in their life. And that spikes the tinnitus. Suddenly our emotional reaction to it and our nervous system, our body's reaction to it can amplify and that makes the tinnitus louder and it creates this vicious cycle. If you wanna see another video on that, check out the link in the description. There's another video that covers that in detail. Some other potential causes for your tinnitus could be auditory deprivation. That means having a progressive hearing loss and your auditory brain not being stimulated as much as it typically is, so it creates this phantom sound of tinnitus. Other potential causes could be loud noise exposure, certain medications that are called ototoxic that can damage the cells in your hearing, that can create a chain reaction to create tinnitus in the auditory brain. And finally, acoustic neuroma, which is a kind of growth on the auditory nerve, as well as TMJ, temporomandibular joint dysfunction, and different disorders of the neck or the jaw. All of those factors can cause tinnitus. So of course, you don't know most often what's causing it for you unless you see some doctors and get some different test results to understand the condition. I almost always recommend seeing a doctor to help you with your tinnitus at the beginning so you can understand what caused it and if it can be treated. Remember, if there's no medical cure, there's still things you can do. This channel focuses on how to manage tinnitus. It's particularly important that you see a doctor if you're experiencing tinnitus with ear pain, hearing loss, or dizziness. I made a full video about when to know if your tinnitus needs medical intervention. You can check that link in the description as well. So the most common type of tinnitus is tinnitus that's caused by loud noise exposure or progressive hearing loss. And this occurs because in our ear system, past the ear canal, past the eardrum, we have the hearing organ. This is the source of how sound transfers from a sound wave into an electrical signal through our nervous system. 
when the hearing organ is damaged, there are these fine, small cells that aren't processing sound through as well as they used to. Then the auditory regions of the brain creates this phantom sound. So typically you have a soft, high-pitched hearing loss, and in your brain you hear high-pitched tinnitus only when you're in a quiet place, when there's soft sounds around you. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship most often that damage in the ear creates tinnitus. So if you have symptoms of tinnitus and you go to your doctor and they tell you, look, you have tinnitus, but there's nothing wrong with you. These test results all came back normal, so you're just gonna have to live with it. You're just gonna have to learn how to live with this tinnitus. If your doctor tells you that, no, that's not true. This channel focuses on everything you can do to manage your tinnitus, to get it in a manageable state, so it's not impacting your life, so you can do your work, you can be with family, you can be happy, and remember that even if your doctor is trying to help you, sometimes they just don't know what can be done other than a medical cure or a pharmaceutical pill to cure the pathology. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to press that subscribe button and you'll be given access to all of our videos here. We focus on tinnitus, we focus on hearing, and my name is Ben Thompson. It's been a pleasure to host you. This next video that I want you to check out is called How to Limit Ringing in Your Ears. From my experience, how to improve tinnitus, it's not commonly understood. Other doctors might not know about it, but there are ways to better manage tinnitus, and oftentimes the sound gets softer too. So check out that video to my side, and I'll see you there.